Welcome back to Copic in the Craft Room. This is Michelle Houghton here. We are due a simple coloring lesson today. I found this awesome image from Moe's Digital Stamps and I think he is way too cute. So I am going to color him up. If it's not too late to send a Valentine to someone, you can send them one. If not, I think anyone would enjoy him. He's a sweetheart. So what we've been doing is once or twice a month is we're picking out an image, whether it's super simple or a little more complex and trying to use really simple color combinations on them. So I am gonna be using either two or three. I think in most places today, it's actually only gonna be some twos, um, maybe a third color on his fur but I'm keeping it really simple and straightforward. I'm using blending groups that are right next to each other, um, meaning that the family, the um, color family, those letters on the front end of the marker are the same. So both of these are RV. Let's see if I can get those in focus. And then the second, the second thing you see is the number. And the first number right next to the letters is the same. Both are a five. And then the third is another number. I've got a five, two, and then a five, five. And there's a jump of about three in there, or three, not about, it is three. And so I know that those are two are next to each other. They're gonna blend fairly well together. So similar family, same number the same. And then that third, that second number is just two or three notches away from each other. So I'll go ahead and speed us up and get coloring on this little furry mouse. We're gonna start on the fur and I'm using C01 as a base, but I really want him to look like a white mouse. And so I'm literally just adding a little bit, they're tiny flicks and it's hard to see with the Z, C0, but it goes throughout the fur. C1 comes next and it's going around the outer edges. You can see I focused it on kind of that lower left part of his little cheek, comes around the right and then out on his little feet and arms. I'm not flicking on those smaller areas, just on his face. But now when I add that C3, you're gonna be able to see I'm working way up on the tip of my brush nib and doing short, tiny little flicks um, to give it that fur texture. I'm coming back with C0 and now I'm just flicking on top one time to soften those that look. R00 goes inside the ear and then colorless blender to smooth it out and on the tip of his nose as well. RV52 is going to fill in the balloon all but a highlight in that upper right corner. RV55 is going to add some shading. Hearts are kind of hard to shade to get that nice round shape, but kind of hit those two spots, smooth it out with RV52. And then I'm gonna use the colorless blender. Now I'm going back on that highlight, but I'm also gonna go over the center of the balloon to give it a little bit more of a transparent look. I'm gonna use the RVs again in his shirt. So RV52 is that base, and RV55 is gonna be the shading. RV52 to smooth it back out. His little pants, I'm going to do kind of as a khaki color. E21 is what I'm basing this in. So it goes all the way throughout. E23 is next. And I definitely want to do some shading around his little tummy because he has a little, it's not really little, it's a nice round tummy, so it gives that nice round appearance. Going back and smoothing with E21. These are all those really easy blending families. I'm using sets of two, obviously, but all of these colors are going to blend really well together. Since they're the same color family, they have the same saturation, that first number and then are only one or two value steps away. E27 is just going to fill the buttons in. One fun sweetheart of a little mouse, all ready to include on a card. 
The one other thing I could do is if I'm gonna include all of him, if I'm not gonna fussy cut, and he would be a tough one to fussy cut because you've got that string, you've got his little tail, you've even got these little whiskers. The one other thing I would wanna do is ground him and include a shadow underneath. So I'd pay attention to where my light source is, so hopefully you can tell that light source is coming from my upper right side. And I'm gonna include a shadow out from there. And he's all done. I could trim this down a little bit and put it right on a card front. I could add some sky if I wanted to or my message, but simple two to three color combinations on each area. Pretty happy um, blending groups and he's done and sweet. All right, everybody, you have a happy, colorful week. Get coloring.